Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Monet. <laughs> Hazels, Hazels, y'all. I'm looking cute. Like I don't ever really look this cute on my YouTube for sure. Like y'all usually see me how it really is, bun up. I'm feeling like I don't know who I am right now. As you guys can tell from the title of the video, me and Ari are gonna do a girls talk this week. I hope you guys have been enjoying the weekly vlogs. Jump saying we'll be back with fire ass New York vlog. Oh, by the time you guys are watching this, me and Ari are already in New York, so I'm in the grounds. Like we have some. Fun shit planned. So make sure to check us out on Instagram because that's where we're most current. You know, I'm saying the stories, the posts, like you get a sneak peek basically to the vlog, which I'm gonna just take you along the whole thing. I think it's actually gonna be two parts, like part one for one week and then part two the second week because we're staying there for a minute. And I know I'm gonna be vlogging like everything. Like we're gonna have so much like fun. So on my story, I asked y'all to ask us some questions. <laughs> that was not planned. So I haven't really got to look through them yet. Oh my God, there's so many responses. So basically I thought it'd be a fun idea if I pick a drink for her and she picks a drink that she thinks that I will like and then we'll make them because I have two like mixer sets and why not? That's how we're gonna start the video, kind of making our drinks and then we'll sit down and sip our drinks and answer some questions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to hear our point of views on things, you know, some advice. I'm sure there's some juicy situationships and confessions and just get your popcorn. Without further ado, let's get into these drinks. Let's get into Ari and drinks and tea and sipping it. Let's go. It's Monday. No. But <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh wait, should I put some clothes on? Or like, <laughs> <laughs> can you do that? Yes. Okay. Should we both put robes on, or should I put my going outfit on? That was not good. Hold on. Let's do it. That was perfect. Wait. Wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> lemon lime. Lemon lime twist. Sorbet. Vanilla chocolate swirl cookie crunch, please. Just slash a queer. Yeah. It's gotta go. Come on. Should we tell each other like what what we're making? We're in a fancy restaurant. On tonight's menu. So I actually gave mine a name. Did you give yours a name? No. Okay, wait, you wanna think of one? Okay. Mine is called Girl, You're Dragon. Oh, dragon? Like Girl, dragon. You're Dragon. Like, like dragon. Like D R A G O N. Ooh, that is. Something. Girl, You're Dragon. Oh my god, well, mine's not that fucking fire. I just came up with that too. Like, off mm. the zone. Mine is called. You know a Paloma? Yeah. I okay, might have called the Mooloma. Aww, <laughs> Mooloma, that's so cute. <laughs> What's in a Paloma though? I didn't know either until I looked it up and it was sounding real good. Hey. So I'm excited to. <laughs> it's originally made with like grapefruit, but I switched it to like peach. Okay. I feel okay. like grapefruit is just too much. Okay. Mine is a dragon fruit margarita. Wait, that's so fun. Girl, you're dragging like, yo, mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, yeah. mine is like blanco. Mine is period. So I figured we could set up in the kitchen. And I got these two, if you wanna use your cup. <laughs> we got a ticket on the beach for having like open bottles. And he was like, it's no biggie. Like just split between the three of you guys. Like, I, he I thought we were bougie, huh? <laughs> Well, honestly, it's not that bad, but like, but like still, it was two hundred dollars total, like sixty six each. Ew. He's like, I can't. I have my GoPro on. Can't let this go. I'm like, I was like, y'all do a lot worse with those on, but go ahead. <laughs> Another story is we were in our Uber on our way to like the beach, so it was like bright as hell out, and we were already kind of lit. And our Uber driver looked young as hell. He looked like he was literally 12. <laughs> Ari was like, how old are you? Like, do you have your license? No, literally I watched it. I was like, dude, just get your license. Like, are you 17? Yeah. Like 20 something. Yeah. And we were like, how old do we look? He was looking extra hard in that rear view mirror. Just like, uh, god damn. Yeah. It's giving like 29 to like 32. I was like, <laughs> no, we are like, oh, yeah. one. No, literally, I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> no wait, because I had glasses on and he's like, Oh yeah, yeah. Mm, 20 to 32. I was like, <laughs> <it's 20." laughs> like I ain't pop my glasses up. He's like, oh, 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 oh. no, no, <laughs> 28 to 32, yeah, definitely. So like we you're gonna wanna Mmm, locked in. Oh, hold on. Body pump. Oh, yes. Body, body pump. pump. 
So okay. wait, this is a full ounce, this is a half ounce? Yeah. Okay. Does that look like a lot? That looks like hella and that looks like... This, I'm not. pretty sure this is, or do you think this is double? Should we test it on a shot glass? Yeah, I'm like, do we just take a shot then? We should definitely start with a shot. Yeah. You wanna cut a lime slice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the? What the? <laughs> that's actually so bad. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like, that's actually like, this is like, I <laughs> I don't know. I, guys. She just skinned the fucking side. <laughs> Cheers to the girls talk. We gotta get into all these fucking questions. Oh yeah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I love you. And we're gonna time lapse our drinks and we'll talk about them. We'll talk about them. So cute, Ari. And like Aww. little dragon fruit seeds, it's giving. It's giving, right? Like, I actually like that it's spilled over. Yeah. Okay. This is really cute though. Like, I hope it's good. This is so you and this is so me. Like a mess, uh, yeah. a mess, but yeah. so cute. And colorful and, just, and electric. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is she giving? <laughs> I don't know, the orange she's is on She's just giving fucking me. like, she's just giving like, a quaint cue. I got my shit together. Like, <laughs> I taste definitely delicious. I'm, I'm sweet. So. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, she's strong. But she's Whoa, good. it's strong. <laughs> but she's good. This tastes like straight out of a restaurant. Dead ass. No, -uh, don't play with me. I'm not even kidding. Try like, yours. Try yours. It's, it's not even strong like that either, where I'm like, is mine like punching in the face? No, like. Punching, but I was like, two. I'm definitely gonna make a face, so I'm gonna let it be known that I can taste the tequila. <laughs> Is that what it's saying? Yeah, I like it. And like, I like how it's like, you taste the tequila first and then the peach comes in after. Okay. Tell me if you tequila taste punch the tequila punches. <laughs> so the peach is like, I'm here. <laughs> and then the peach is like, shh, shh, shh. shh, shh. <laughs> oh, shit. Mmm. Yours is good as fuck. I feel like I'm missing something in mine for sure. I don't think I'm missing something. I think it's definitely strong. I feel like it needs more like peach for me. I was supposed to blend it maybe and add some like agave. That's why I literally had like the agave out. One more coochie better not be out. <laughs> Did y'all see my phone? <laughs> Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Ooh. I was naked on the bottom and didn't even. <laughs> no, It's dark, I think. D did you guys see my cooch and my butt? Say yes if you did. Babe, they definitely saw the silhouette of this ass. Okay, how about I just scroll and then <laughs> stop? Yeah. Ready, first question. What's the most hot girl thing someone can do? Ooh. I feel like be a good person. I was gonna That's my say. favorite thing. I was gonna say be a good person or be smile at everyone. Ooh, smiling is different. It's Were different. we together on that one time? That one girl like smiled? Cause I think someone smiled back at us and I was like, oh my God, like that was just so special. Yeah. Like if you make eye contact with me, I'm yeah, at you as fuck. I know, can you imagine just being like, <gasps> what? No. How long should the talking stage last? Oof. I give it like it two <clears throat> to three months tops. Cause I'm like, you definitely want to know someone before you like get into a relationship. I feel like everyone says that the best relationships are like the friendship to relationship segue, but like not everyone meets that way. So I feel yeah. like giving yourself that time to like build that like friendship along with the like romantic relationship is good. Yeah. Maybe like two to three months. What do you think? I feel like mm -hmm. for me, I feel like time like flies. Like I feel, right. like, I feel like six, <clears throat> I feel like I was talking to someone for like a year and oh. like we still work together, but like. It depends on what you want to, cause like, I feel like I could talk to someone right now and like not want a relationship. <laughs> yeah, and just like want to like, just, yeah. Chit chat, maybe yeah. see you here and there. Like me and like the last person that I was talking to, it was like fully like, from like March to like June, how long was that? Yeah, I think three, four months. But like, it depends too, like how, what they're getting. 
out of the talking stage. If they're getting a full like relationship mm -hmm. girl treatment, no. no. And like if you're in the pl like place like to be a girlfriend, mm -hmm. to be wiped up, be cuffed up, like I don't know. Sometimes they be playing around. Right, but I think that goes to say, just know your boundaries. Know what you will accept at what rate, yeah. and like just knowing where you'll draw the line. line. Like period. Right. Period. Right. Hot take on hooking up with your best friend's brother. Okay. You know, I was thinking about this one too. I was like, I feel like in like the thought of it, it sounds like ooh, hot, spicy, like exciting. But I'm like thinking of like. <laughs> I have I actually think I about literally it. have three brothers, so like that's like such a probable thing. And like my brothers are the type to be like, be like, so like your one friend. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> no, I just think it's weird as fuck. I think to if it was us, like I feel like it'd just be wrong. Yeah, I so feel like weird. maybe with like uh like an acquaintance. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, like as long as like you tell me like, yo, I think like kind of like feeling your brother like as long as like i know before uh, anyone else knows yeah we can talk about it yeah acquaintances like, i feel like yeah you gotta be a few steps away but i feel like if you're literally like my like s like my sister like yeah that freaks me out like like if, that's so weird like if i like walked in and like <gasps> you were at my house Ew, but, like, no, no, no. bro i literally would be like yeah <laughs> no 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 my best friend's brother, brother is the one for me, me. Like when I was younger, I was like, BFB. Like, that sounds hey, fire. No, literally. Hey. Then I thought about it, I was like, no. Yeah, absolutely not. Oh my god, Ari Tattoo Tour. <gasps> oh my god. This one I was like, please. Um, we have my first one that I got done. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the one across my hand that says Perseverant. And we have 111 on my wrist, which kind of speaks about your intuition. Then we have these little sparkles on my hand. Yeah. I got these all done in the same day along with I have the number three on the back of my ankle if you can see yeah. and then I have a heart somewhere that only few will know <laughs> I love it bro remember when you got your hands done like literally like remember yeah how long was that like a few months ago or I was like, say, like in November like I just did it yeah it oh my like, god it was always like a thought yeah but like the day that I did it, I was just like, I'm just gonna do it. I didn't yeah. tell anyone. I told my mom and I was just like, yo, like I got tattoos. Yeah, did you text me like when you were there or something? You were like, yeah, yeah I'm just getting tattoos. I was like, huh? I know, I we like, were talking about it for a while. Like tattoos, like <clears throat> high, like. On your hands too, and you want more. Yeah, for sure, like on my fingers and stuff. I'm a big hand tattoo gal. Yeah, she I'm said like, she wants like her hands, like you do, would you sleeve? Mm, no. But you, maybe would go like, your, you would do like your arms. Maybe like, like take the sparkles like a little bit up to like like gloves here but like maybe like a tiny little something on like yeah. each arm we'll see we're still figuring yeah. it out i feel like we'll you're see. a limb girl i'm more of like a core like torso like if i was getting my tattoos like that's what i want i want them yeah to. but i was always stuck on the hand yeah you're just stuck on the hand, girl. right you just be drawn like you, you don't just have be to drawn. right exactly you know what you want and that's enough explanation have you ever fought seems like you're one brain lol love y'all <laughs> Everybody's up on that one time. That one time. And you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared. This was like one of the big first nights. Was it? What you... Oh. Oh, that's not I, what I was talking about. I forgot about that. Whoa. Okay. I was talking about the we don't Miami like have... thing. Oh. Okay. I don't know if that was a fight, but more of like a shutout. I feel like it was the first time I was like, whoa, like, I'm learning this girl. And like ever since then, I feel like I wasn't. Like, if, the, if that energy ever, like, arise, like, I wasn't, like, surprised, type mm -hmm. thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she doesn't arise often, but, like, yeah, when she does, it's, like, fucking Debbie Downer. Here we go. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny, because I feel like I was in the fire for that one, and, like, you felt like you were in the fire for the Miami one, so that's, like, what we kind of, like, mm -hmm. acknowledge as our first fight. Mm -hmm. Is that mm -hmm. funny? It wasn't really beef. Like, honestly, we haven't fought. Like, there was never, like, a disagreement type thing. Yeah. Do you think you would describe it as a disagreement? The Miami one I'm thinking? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm scared. I just remember being like, wait, what? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I was just like fucking around. I was just like, I'm not going. <laughs> and y'all were like, like, I expected like y'all to be like, oh my God, for real? Yeah. Me and Ari would have been friends for like one year. We've been learning each other like so, like, throughout the year. And I feel like now, like, you guys are like, how long have you known each other? What, how did you guys meet? And I'm like, it feels like forever, but also it's been like, <laughs> it's literally been like two seconds, but at the same time, I feel like it's been like a million years. Yeah. I feel like we're like connected yeah. like on some fucking telepathy shit. Yeah. Like straight up like I don't even know.
no, dude. Like, it's funny because I was like walking around, like targeted, just like shopping and like just like AirPods and thinking. And I was like, you know what? Like, like the next like guy that like I want in my life, like I want to be able to have conversation with him that flows the way that my conversations with Monet flow. Like, oh. I just want to be able to like yeah feel that safe, feel that comfortable. Like I don't have to like wake up and be like, hi Monet, good morning. Like what are yeah. you doing today? Make like, sure they're happy. Like make sure they feel seen. Make sure yeah, they're like. But like I do that <clears throat> subconsciously. Yeah. Like, I'm like gonna, we want to. I'm gonna talk to her like every single day, but it's not because I'm like oh I. I yeah, today, but it's like my brain is like, huh? Like, wait, I want to share this thought with her. Like, what, yeah. is, what are you up to? Like, hey. uh, yeah. <laughs> first drink experience Such or blackout bad. drunk experience? <sighs> I have one. I have one too. I have a bad one. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll just say mine because I feel like it's probably shorter. It was just that. I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was like my first like official high school party, right? Okay, I lived in California for a little bit and once I came home, I was officially in the party scene. Like it was weird, like when I came home, it was just like, okay. It went from like wholesome softball games to like, we're getting blackout drunk in this basement. Like a party at this person's house, this is the address, like pull up, right? So, oh my God, it was like a keg beer party. Ew, I Girl. hate beer, I hate beer, I hate beer. When we were playing, I think it was like flip cup. And it was like full cup type games. And I literally like, I think I played like three rounds and everything was started blending together. And I had a friend who was like not my friend. We were kind of like on like making up terms, but like we were not friends at that point, you know what I'm saying? Kind of just like trying to be like my savior that night. Just like, oh, this is my moment. Like, Monet's like, I see she's getting drunk. Like, and then like once I got like to that point, it was just like, oh my God, Monet, like she's literally throwing up on the fucking grass in the backyard. Like, let me call her mom. Called my mom, called like my dad. Oh my God, my dad came home to surprise me this weekend. I didn't know. And like, he was like staying in a hotel. Called my mom. My dad comes and picks me up with my mom. Like, and my parents are split, keep in mind. So it was just like, I literally would've been like, <laughs> but I was black out. Like, I barely remember this. I remember my dad, like my limp ass body, putting me in the backseat of the car. I was throwing up in the backseat of the car. My parents, I remember just them looking back in the backseat like, oh my god, is she okay? Like, should we go to the hospital? Like, what is it? Like, they were panicking. I remember waking up the next day to my dad just like, brush my hair. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, what the fuck happened? Oh my god. Yeah, I was like, why are you here? I was like, why are you here? Like, what is going on? <laughs> and my mom didn't even know I drank at that point, bro. Oh my and god. And it was just giving like, bro, my. Going to a friend's house. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Literally fucking wow. Girl. Because I know exactly how you feel, and I feel yeah. like your story kind of reminds me of my own. Like, I was drinking UV blue. Yes. And, like, the high, oh my god. The like high school plug like dropped it off. Like I had like the like kid that I was talking to at the time like pick it up from him and he like paid for it. And he was like, don't worry about it. Perfect. And like I told my mom it's just kind of like a little party, nothing crazy. And um, like I went and like I had this bottle and I just was like, yeah, like I don't have a thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. like literally having people. I'm like, okay, hey, take a video of this. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are you and then um <laughs> long story fucking short i am in my friend's mom's car who's oh, picking God. us up and i'm like i was supposed to go sleep at her house you know like get drunk and like sleep at someone's house and then just go home the next day like yeah. mom <laughs> so we get into like my friend's mom's car and i already know that this is gonna go south because when i went to put my shoes on i just couldn't yeah and i walk into the car and we're like sitting we're sitting mm. and literally we're in the back seat i'm with like another girl and i'm just like puking on myself oh like in the back of my mom's car like just trying to like play it cool and i'm like vomiting on myself and i'm like all right she has no idea cool <laughs> i walk out of the car like into her house like very blatantly obviously drunk as fuck Can you imagine a sober ass mom bro <sighs> just like oh. <laughs> exactly so then like my one friend and i are in like the friend's house that we're staying at's room and she like left the room to like go talk to her mom but like yeah. in my drunk mind I didn't really know what was happening I'm laying in her bed with her brand new white sheets that she had just bought oh. literally earlier that day blue and green vomit everywhere yes everywhere. the radio <laughs> everywhere everywhere the girl that I'm with like sits me up she's like oh my god Ariana she like puts a trash can like in front of me and I'm like <gasps> vomiting into that but like it was already in my hair it was on my shirt it was in her thing it was in yes. everything possible <laughs> then her mom walks in and is like get the fuck out 
like literally like grabs me like she's oh like my where's God. your phone unlock your phone unlock your phone and like i go into full panic mode because my parents are really yeah. like drink and keep in mind there's like these high like cement steps like <laughs> like three <laughs> thick ass steps like going into their house like their house is kind of elevated yeah like such tall cement steps yeah. so she's like She's like tweaking and like I remember she was like her kind mom? of like her mom. That's so crazy. Yeah. And like the door was like I don't even know if it was open or not. Long story fucking short. Again, I jump from the top of the steps. Like after she's like pressing me, like we could call your mom, call your mom. I literally go into full panic mode. I'm like my mom can't know this. So in my drunk brain, I walk out the door, jump out these steps, <laughs> eat complete shit. Oh, I ended up like God. spraining, like spraining my ankle. Did I say that right? Why does that sound like no, spraining? Spraining. 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 <laughs> I ended up spraining my ankle. I cut. I still have scars on my foot. Like cut my foot so bad. I remember just laying there, like. <laughs> and her mom was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" In my brain, I was like, "Haha!" Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away from her. Like I'm, she's not gonna catch me, and I'm gonna skip the steps. So she's gonna walk down them. I'm already gonna be off them. No, she had to peel you off the sidewalk, and she was just like, "What the fuck was that?" Get back in my house. I literally, I was like. <laughs> basically end up unlocking my phone she calls my mom the second that my mom gets here she literally like throws me at her house she's like take your fucking daughter and the then yeah literally and then my mom That's threw horrible. me in the back seat and she was literally like we're in the middle of moving bro like i told you don't do anything crazy i go home and my dad Wait, was you just moved there we had we were, i was move. moving out of my townhouse into the house that you oh. now see so my parents were like, please hurry up. And like, they didn't even want me to go to this party. Yeah. Oh my God, this has been so long. I'm so sorry. No. Um, <laughs> we're eating up. Um, but I remember my mom put me in the tub that night and everything. She's just like, she's like, what the fuck did you do? I was like, I don't know. I don't remember. Like, I didn't even do this. I didn't even <laughs> do this. I didn't even weird. I don't remember. And I remember I woke up in my brother's bed the next day. Like, my little brother, Daniel. And I just remember I woke up with, like, the most vicious anxiety I've ever felt in my life. Oh my god, you still be getting that sometimes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> but like that time, like it was like I you'll knew never I forget. Had done. Yeah, like I was grounded for like two, three weeks. Ooh, I feel like I'm there. Like, <sighs> oh, so I have nice no. question. Okay, wait, y'all. We might actually have to pick this up tomorrow because the camera's dead. Our reservations are in ten minutes. Our Uber is ten minutes away. But bet your bottom dollar that they will be answered period don't you worry so it's literally half a second for you you guys will get some more questions tomorrow before we go to brunch because we're not oh we're not yeah. going to brunch we're oh, going out to like brunch we're literally like fully going to the club yeah we're fully going to the club like, <laughs> like for dinner fully. wait let's give them a fit check because you know oh, we yeah. already got a twin because our uber is still eight minutes away so it's okay and if we ain't twinning we ain't winning so here he is <laughs> so my dress is from meshki it's a long one but i rolled it up the sleeves are from Shein, but I don't even want to tell y'all because I don't shop anymore. Right. Bag is Dior. These jeans are from Garage. Are, are they jeans? Are they cargo pants? I don't I don't know. They're cute. What do I call them? They're cute is what they They're are. They're cute. And then this is a vintage Ralph. Oh no, Tommy Hilfiger top. <gasps> oh my god, even better. better. The shades are gas station. And the purse Her. is from yours truly. <laughs> Monte Jess. Me up like a zoom. Zoom. It's Michelle. Zomba. <laughs> Wait, look at these new ones from Desi. Did you see this one yet? Oh, with, with the cuff? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, those look fire. You as like fuck them? Fuck on you, bro. Okay. Go ahead and say that. Battery's dead, dead. All right, y'all. We'll pick up tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers. I love you guys. I'm done with the conversation now. Sit back down. <laughs> I hit that. <laughs> We're here for round two. Question, you know what I'm saying? Today's yeah. Sunday. We went out last night. It was a, a night. night. <laughs> <laughs> it was a night. And like, there's so much I wish that we could tell y'all. Cheers to that. We want to answer some more questions. <gasps> okay. Someone said, how do you girls feel about sending happy birthday texts to an ex? Left off on good terms. I feel like my thing with exes is like the chapter is closed. It's closed, yeah. Don't open that door. Mm, ex is an ex, but I feel like I'm so funny to say that because I could totally picture myself doing it. But okay. thinking logically, yeah. it's like, like the smartest choice is to not. 
Let's not look blow it. Cause you're just opening that communication. You know that a conversation, whether or not it's a birthday or whatever the hell, it's gonna lead to like something that it just shouldn't be. Like yeah. an ex is an ex for a reason and that is your ex for a reason oh, reason oh, 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 oh. Those we're eating, by the way. We just had chicken and rice. I made all my chicken and rice. What do you rate it? I rate it dead ass like. I was like nine out of ten. It was too spicy. I don't think it was too spicy. I think since that was the first thing I ate today, I was like, damn, like I felt the spice. Facts. You know what I mean? Now that you say that, I'm like in the shop too. Was like rice. It was spicy. We got spicy. I mean, you know. <laughs> do you all prefer drinking or smoking on a night out? <laughs> Both. <laughs> or you can hang, bro. I'm like, I used to be able to like just smoke and chill, but I got like paranoid. As I got older, I just turned to a paranoid little freak. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll be like, no, yeah, what they got over there? No, literally. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> every time, every time I see a smoke puff of some sort or a lighter yeah. of something, you, read it. Dude, if I had telekinesis. <laughs> Oh my god, that wish. one time, ew, the section oh was so god. dry. <laughs> Are we talking about the <laughs> When I went up to the guy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Usually, I feel like us smokers are collectively just like right. We see each other exactly. Like we see each other, mm -hmm. and so whenever I like feet on smoking, I'm gonna walk right over and I'm gonna be like, "Yo, what's up? Like, what y'all going on? Yeah, right." <laughs> and I walk up, and typically it's always like a great time. I get to meet someone new. Yeah, and I walked up, and that was not the case. Yeah. He was they just were like, giving granny yeah. in a section. No, he was giving granny. He was just like, that is so funny that we're talking about that because I thought about that as I was walking out my car up to your house. Yeah, like that scenario. He was like, we don't do that from where I'm from. I was like, what the? And then didn't you say something? And I was just like, ew, why? I remember watching and I was like, what is he saying? Like, mm -hmm. right? The fact that there is, even as a conversation, like, right. he's exactly. not handing it over. Right. Like, like, hello? Who knows I was something's like, going wrong? wrong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, First impressions of each other. Okay. I feel like we talked about this like briefly before. First day me and Ari met, okay? So we had some mutual friends and I heard about Ari for like a week prior to like meeting her and I was like, all right, I gotta meet this girl. Like, damn. Really? Yeah. I'm just like, oh my God, like. And part of me, obviously I'm like, when I meet someone, I'm just like, mm -hmm. let me feel the vibe. Let me read them out. Like I heard all these things. Like, let me just she like. She and Aquarius. Let me just chill. <laughs> but obviously I was excited. Like, I'm just mm -hmm. like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Like new friends, like the vibe was yeah. just right. Like, yeah. So. We ended up finally meeting on the beach like one day. Y'all like ended up just like pulling up, mm -hmm. had your hats on. Like we were already like laid out on the beach like real early. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys were coming or not yeah. or something like that. You guys came up with bottles and we were just like, what's up? And kind of like, I was on this corner and there was like 10 girls. There was a lot. Eight? I don't even know. Like there's a lot of girls and like too many. Yeah. It was just a new hi, mix of people hi, hi. and it was like so fun. Like yeah. for me. But I also feel like, like when I first pulled up, it kind of gave like, I was with like someone that like I was really close to at the time. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I was just like, I don't know, like, you know, like when you know you're like safe space, you kind of like stick mm -hmm. to that. But eventually and thankfully, yeah. like we started all talking, but then I just, I don't know, like I feel like me and Monet, like I felt like I was like talking to you for like ever. I, I feel like the like, sunset, yeah. the tide set. <laughs> The fuck is moon and stars came out we were just like, yeah. You see like a time lapse? Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I just remember being like, oh my god, this girl's so dope. I feel like we were talking about everything. Yeah. Like everything. Um, and it took a minute too. I feel like the whole day passed and like right at the end, we finally were like, finally got to talk. And then we went out that night and you yeah. and I were like having so much fun. Like I literally have videos of us like dancing in the mirror. The first like, night. Do you remember that? Yes. And we were like, whiny, Yes. Whiny. I literally, I know exactly what I'm trying. I think I was wearing like, you had like my like, mid thigh like, shorts back on, mm -hmm. and like a white tank. Like not so much, yeah, not so much. Not I had French hair. She looked so cute. I remember um, I had on like a baby white? blue top, a baby blue top. Oh, and I had, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god! I remember that guy that came up to me and was like, <gasps> "Bro, like first impression, I was like, this girl's fucking crazy. This girl's fucking <gasps> cold. Like, Wait. And, like y'all was just getting like, oh my god, like just something I've never seen before." Yeah, we were all kind of just like running around, just like just so bold and just like exciting and fun. It's <laughs> like not real. Also, she's just fully making out with me on the corner. Her runs he, over to the other bar. Just literally, like, like, we'll me a drink. No, literally, <laughs> and she's literally. like, anyways, you're trashed. To the dance floor. Woo! Ah! Um, who's smoking in the back? I'm like, give me this one. 
Like, she's just, like, so excited, like, out of my Stop. comfort zone. Stop. See, when I tell you, I'm like, you're just, you're, like, my happiness and, like, excitement in life. Like, and she likes to say, like, I'm her, like, stability and structure. Yeah. So it's a nice little balance. That's what I'm saying, bro. And, and I feel like in, like, honestly, all of my previous friendships, it's been yang and yang, not, like, yin and yang. Like, it's yeah. too much overindulgence, too much just sitting around, smoking. Right. Like, you need someone, wow. yeah, to push you. Like, I feel like she needs me to like ground her and be like, bro, let's just like sit around and like, hey, yeah, sometimes we're like, let's just, I don't know, like, <clears throat> like just breathe for a sec. And she more so like inspires me to like go. What are you <laughs> what do I do? Look, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh my god, <gasps> this Charlie Ross? I'm hurt? not doing that at all. Wait, you're moving your wait, you're you're not moving your foot at all. No, my toe is like fully flexed like that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew! I don't like it. Does it hurt? Wait, it's just like so uncomfy. Oh my god! What? Like, that is the craziest shit I think I've ever seen in my life. I feel like it's going heck? down a little. But I'm sorry to cut you off. My toe just yeah. fully like. I don't oh my god! No, it was. literally was not real. <laughs> my nail last night. I took my like gel X off. Are you which nail? Ari was like, ew, Monet. And I was like, <laughs> as I literally was like, rip your nail off. Come on, just rip it off. Because <laughs> it was lifted. And then she like, no, then she rips it off. I'm like, ew. It's so ugly. <laughs> you know when your nails are just like super weak and brittle and just like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, our big three. I feel like this one can just like knock out the bat. Mm -hmm. So you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna see if I remember yours. Your son obviously is Cancer, Cancer Queen, you crab. Your rising is Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And your moon is, uh, I wanna say Gemini. Mm -mm. I'm a Virgo moon. Oh, I was gonna say Virgo, but I was like, Monet is in <laughs> a Gemini rising, an Aquarius yes. sun, and your moon is in I know our moon is Capricorn? like Capricorn. No. Uh, Libra. Yes. Really? Yes. Yay! So. It's long time I mean. Long. Long. That's the most important in my big three for me. Libra moon gives balance. You know, it's very so mother like, like, I feel so, like Libras like, are like a little bit here. Oh my God, my one caption, I was like, life's about balance. Per. I think like that's like my like life motto too. It's like. No, I feel like that be is. Be easy on yourself. Mm -hmm. Like work crazy this week, you know? Yeah. Hard around next week. Like, yeah. Be easy on yourself. Balance it out. Yeah. That gives me so much peace of mind too. I feel like, like you kind of like stressing that. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? You're like so right. Life is like peaks and valleys and like teeters and totters <laughs> and like highs and lows. Like For real. just ride it. Whatever it is. What's what's your favorite part of your chart? Like the one that you think like resonates the most with you. I feel like I'm a Cancer through and through. I have so much Cancer in my chart. I'm fully oh, yeah. a Cancer. Um, I think I went through a phase, especially like teen years just being like i don't want to feel like oh my god like i feel too much like all this stuff and now yeah. i'm just like as i'm growing up just like so appreciative of the fact that i feel everything so deeply and i'm so yeah. because of that like emotionally aware and intelligent and i feel like i can read others and i can like mm -hmm. pick up i don't know yeah i'm i'm thankful for everything that i feel our vibrator we're like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god that's so good we're like which way <laughs> It's <laughs> so good. Oh, someone said, do you plan on moving out and getting a place anytime soon? I don't know if I guys, I don't know if I told you guys yet, but <laughs> last night basically this was my apartment. <laughs> last night we, me and Ari was running around, fucking 3 a.m. We got home like, like whoa, not real, not real. Wait, I was literally chasing you. Right? And you're like, I'm scared. <laughs> Cause we started going fast as hell. And I no, was like, like, like I know what it feels chill. like to be chased. Like, it's not even funny. Mom, All right. say hi to the vlog. We're doing a girls talk. Hi y'all. Wait, do you want to answer a question together? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Mm, I might just do this one, right? Cute. Right? That's cute. Okay, I got a question for you, mom. Mama! Hi. What's your favorite memory together? With you? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a hard one. We can keep it like, you can do like the past year or we can do like lifetime. Maybe the, just the first one that comes to I mean, head. I don't want to be cliche, but when we went to NARS, like, oh yeah, well, yeah, the Nars house, you know that trip. Um, that was a moment I was waiting for my whole entire life Aww. to hang out with my daughter. Just I was always so curious as to what you would be like as a, you know, as a woman. 
and it was just so special to me like when we just landed and we had dinner there just yeah you and I, it that was, dinner was crazy it was amazing Hi, we're literally gonna cry oh <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's like so cute too like yeah. i can't believe we got to do shit like that i remember like when yeah. we like when I called you, when I got that email, bro, I literally left class and was like, I didn't think twice who was coming with me. Like, when I saw the email, I was like, me and mom have to do this. Yeah. I was like, bet. Say less. Oh, yeah. PTO. <laughs> <laughs> bet. That's so funny. No what? And I feel like even yeah. from, like, an outside perspective, like, I feel like that was the first time where I was like, whoa, like, mom. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then, like, to, like, see you two, like, hit that milestone together. Yeah. Like, you by her side. <gasps> and, like, I don't know, and just like watching like how you would like just like stand like to the side support and like, I, like that's camera. love, like that's yeah. love, like I was like wow, like it was so beautiful, like, that, was, that was a moment for me. <laughs> Aww. 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 Um, we fully vlogged that whole experience too, if you guys haven't seen that yet, like I, re-watching that, I haven't, we have to re-watch it again, mom. Yeah. We have to like sit down and like fully be like, yeah. <gasps> Stop, we should do it on the one year. Remember when I got the candle, mom? You were like, you should light it once a year on that the Nars Day. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? perfect tradition. And we should actually have like a girls' weekend. You know Aww. what I mean? Girl. We should do a trip on that week. Ooh, yes, girl. Okay, prayer. Okay, someone said moving on from friendship breakups, even if they were toxic, still miss them low key. <gasps> Losing a friend like sucks, but like it does give you space. Seriously. And room for new for new people exactly soak in what it was but understand what it isn't and yeah. understand like why it didn't work out but like fully you're allowed to miss you're allowed to be like i miss when we do that oh my god this video was yeah. so funny like all that stuff like those are good memories mm -hmm. but just be thankful for that and also be thankful for the fact that this person left to make room for something else yeah. and you have to just be so excited for whatever that is. Yeah, and you also learned so much. You grew so much in that relationship, no matter how long it was and like it happened and that time period for a reason, like you needed that person for mm -hmm. whatever reason mm -hmm. and like stuff like that really just throws you off and like you start to like doubt yourself. Like, mm -hmm. like am I flawed as a person that like, I can't, you know, like make these things work or, mm -hmm. or all that stuff and it's just like, unfortunately like that's just the way life goes and it also brings on like you know like a little bit of like trust issues and just like mm -hmm. this like constant fear of like losing friends, losing friends like, and like losing like someone everything's like, temporary yeah yeah but it's just important to let that go and just live your life with like open arms and taking everything in and just being thankful and grateful for every single second yeah like, just know so that we have been through it we have yeah. felt the effects of yeah what that does to you but we've also chosen to not live in that yeah. like hurt victim yeah. mentality and just been like i'm thankful for that yeah beautiful and chapter I, close yeah. i saw some questions too just like how do you find true friends like how do you find real friends and it's like honestly it's like not trial and error just well, like, like okay. it's okay like a time like time will tell mm -hmm. you go through experiences together like you honestly some people just aren't compatible that was so heavy like yesterday like it's not that like this person is so bad and i'm so bad and like we're just so like horrible people and like we couldn't like you know what i'm saying it's like some people just don't vibe <laughs> exactly everyone is either like you either like me you don't like me and it's like no i think we just need to come to an understanding yeah. that my way of thinking, existing, feeling, being, communicating, just does not line up with yours, but you'll find someone that it does line up with and I'll exactly find someone that it does line up with. And it brings up like the best version of you. You know I think just keeping that open mind that you will find that someone that sees you. Yeah. Like, Perfect example too, mom and Gabriel, hello. They met when they were like 44, 45. Like, that's dude, such And like, you feel the love mm -hmm. Like, that's like soulmates and like, Okay, if it takes 45 years, like, it was worth the wait, you exactly. know? She and him both wouldn't have been the yeah. best versions of themselves they didn't go if they like, didn't go through you know? so many different things to finally... Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So if you guys are going through anything like that right now, just, like, you know, take advantage of the time, like, to really just reflect on yourself, be with yourself, love yourself, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And just, like, you're learning yourself, so exactly. be easy on yourself. Exactly. <laughs> and stay optimistic, always. Period. An experience that solidified your friendship. Mm. Um, 
Damn. I'm thinking of like, I'm rewinding the whole no, tape. Just like. really me too. What was the first one? I feel like Loki after some like beef went down and kind of seeing like how Ari showed up for me. The night we went out to Chinatown. Yeah. Remember Banchan? Yeah. I feel like that's when we really were like. Okay, I think um, our little sneaky link. Oh, that sneaky link was crazy. I see, like, like, I like brought her out and like we were just like i don't know not trying to step on anyone's toes it yeah. was just like her and i just hanging out yeah and, like, like no phones like, no texting yes, no nothing, pictures no pictures nothing. Just, like, us like, I, I, love, I remember that I whole night like the it. uber ride like the pregame like i think that's the first time you came over here like by yourself and i was like oh my god right i think so too yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <clears throat> someone how do you how do you handle it when people make assumptions of you and your bestie being gay i'm like I'm like, play with fantasy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the edits. I'm like, the Mari edits. Coming <gasps> Mari? Soon. I told you, huh? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Someone was like, love like the Mari segment, like Mo and Ari. I was like, that is so cute. And I was, I was thinking, I was like, Ariane, Ariane. I was like trying Ariane. to like flip it. Ariane? No. <laughs> Mari is like, Mari Morris. for sure. Wow. Um, how do you handle it when people make assumptions of you and your being gay? Girl, you feed into it and you play around and you yeah. don't care because you know what you want and you know what you want. Period. And if people feel the love like that, then bam, bam. you got a best friend. <laughs> Boom. Favorite Instagram picture. How about you do one of me of you? and then I'll do okay. mine. Like, okay. I'll do one of, yeah. Okay. Let's just do this year. Yeah. Okay. 22. It's <laughs> Dang, I dropped some bangers low key. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... I like her energy. She just gives like venom, evil. Yeah. I'm like, I like Those her are so vibe. cool. Okay, so if we're going on vibe, I feel yeah. like this. Yeah. Okay. We're both giving like, I think it's the glasses too. Yeah. Wait. Our top three. Okay, our top three. Yeah. This is why it's number one. I love it. These pictures. Yeah. They were so those fun. Eight. They were so good. I remember there was like love on those. I was like, love, love, mm -hmm. love. I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I guess. I really like the selfie that I took. I feel like I look pretty. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm not a selfie kind of guy. Yeah, I love that one. On the way to my house. Ooh, I yeah, I love a good like. I felt so skinny and, and like, slender, ugh. like on the top of the you world. Were just iconic then. I remember I was so excited for you to like the be out there, bro. Like I was like, <gasps> stop. I was like, yes, what the fuck bro. am I wearing, bro? Like, yes, on oh, you. Me. I know, I was like, Ari, tell me. <laughs> On the way, I FaceTimed you. You FaceTimed me, and then you FaceTimed me when we were there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was like, woo! <laughs> it was so pretty. I was like, screen I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you were in your bed, you answered so quick. I think it was a Beyonce song. It was. Oh, yeah, I was so literally good. laying in bed. I was like, I'm gonna answer right <laughs> now. <It's>, uh... <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm gonna say, like, this so, set of pictures. She just looked like, <gasps> I was like, you look. You look I was good. feeling myself. You looked good. We like can't we showed out that night. Yeah, we looked cute. The Zoles. I was like the first like Zol. I knew you were gonna pick that. Cause you know <laughs> when I I literally like blew your phone up. I was like, bro, <laughs> it's just giving like rem. It's giving oh my god, like these pictures are so how about y'all go comment on our Instagram what what, what your, your favorite, favorite picture is. of us? Today I posted like a, a TikTok, like for my dress, just you know how my TikTok. Yeah. Like, just, <laughs> and bro, like the like it does made me like feel sad. Like you know, I just felt like a baby today. Like yeah. Like the I'm just being like, hi, little like freak Zoll, are you baby Zoll? Yeah. Like, I'm just like wow. Like the fact that y'all love Monet so much already. I'm like oh, hard eye, hard eye. But then to like. <laughs> bring the love over to me which yeah. is, i'm just like thank you so much for that like that's so 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 sweet and yeah. like i like i dead ass feel the love everyone just be yeah. like you're so pretty like i was like thank you. like i felt like i was like, like i'm pretty <laughs> it was it was so sweet like yeah. that and just having like i don't know bro the community yeah. that you have built is no i feel like that's so us like the zolls is definitely like something about just like a powerful friendship i feel like that's like someone asked like what is what does this all mean to you someone literally said that and someone was just like how does it feel like all the love like from the zolls like kind of love from the zolls i wanted to think about like what does this all mean to, i feel like we can just up. end on that yeah, yeah. yeah what does this all mean to us okay. i feel like okay. like just being a good person that's heavy on that for heavy. me yeah it has a lot to do with friendship but also just like individuality individuality yeah 
just confident in yourself yeah, and so your decisions and like you know just i feel like your decisions is heavy like what you decide to wear what you decide to say what you decide to like mm -hmm. put your energy towards i feel like i feel like azal is definitely azua azu azu is definitely someone that is confident and then if you're confident in yourself your relationships and everything are just fucking like yeah you're already like you're boosting them up you know what i mean like loudest <laughs> whenever there's something i go by he says stop steer Continue. i don't know i think as well as definitely someone that's confident i feel like confidence and is big and like that's like the number one for me a lot me. of people ask like how to be so confident there's a lot of questions like how are you so confident how are you so confident and i feel like i think <sighs> it's within all of us to be the like version of ourselves that we dream about like if you can think it up you are capable of yeah. doing it so i think just with time and with the care and want towards yeah. yourself to i think it's be a self -love. that person yeah right you will tap into that girl and tap into everything that's yeah. in she's here she's in there she's in there she's, she's brewing <laughs> <laughs> so as well as someone that is either tapped into them yeah. selves working, working on, on being tapped into themselves yeah. or just even starting like, way yeah. like like i hope y'all feel it like as well as like this is this love like it's just treating everyone including yourself yeah like a fucking soul like a soul like you're not gonna like be all like mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> with a fucking soul you're gonna put her back in her yeah when you're done with her yeah <laughs> Put her on the shelf and just yeah, take care of her. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about uplifting, you know, encouraging, supporting. Right. And, and I'm like all the goodness. I feel like spreading love so much to even like me feeling it and soaking it up and feeling like I have like a place and like this little thing. Like we yeah. all are just like oh, Yeah, gosh. we're all singing, we're all welcome Amazing. like and I love it. <laughs> oh, Thank you guys for tapping into this video. Like, you know how girls talk. I feel like we ate. I feel like we answered some good questions. Right. I feel like we definitely chit chatted. Also, I'm like, maybe we can like put on our outfits and just give them like a fit check. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's right go into full zone mode. Yeah. And then we'll say. <gasps> Stop it. We're seeing the Barbie zone. <gasps> okay, yeah, that's bad. Okay. Wait, okay. should we do a transition? Don't play with us. Don't play with us. All right, Zolls, so we're about to head out. The camera's actually dead, dead. Thanks for hanging out. Thank and you. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>